now since we are done with the editing let's try to have this deactivate okay um now we're users list we already have the link which is this one so let's go back here in our portal so public function then id okay so ano yung gagawin lang natin dito so parang ganito lang let me try to copy this one okay so the activate user then we're going to call a specific method and kung success then say the data was successfully or maybe the user was successfully deactivated okay sorry an, an error occur the user was not deactivated okay then the direct tayo sa list so therefore sa part ng list maglalagay din tayo ng error message just in case hindi successful yung pag deactivate kasi redirect pa rin siya sa list okay so now on our user model let me try to copy this code and then kagawa ko ng deactivate user activate user so we can also use this on the part of the visitors account the activate user okay so all we need to do is to pass the ID here or basically yung user ID yung ID na lang then we're going to pass it here then we're going to update the rule oh i mean the not the rule but status from being active into a deactivated Ama, deactivated users okay id okay so let's try to call this one on our model and we passed here the ID. So, kung successful yung process natin, then we receive yan. Ang rami na parang error. Ano yung may error na to? Ay, yung kanina. So, let me try to delete this one para malaman natin kung may error ba. Kasi ito yung may sinasabi ko. Once I click this one, it will redirect. So, hindi natin mapapansin kung may error ba talaga or wala. So, since we already activated yung threshold, then may kita natin yung error na magpupunta sa logs directory. Okay, so now let's try to this, um, deactivate this one. Deactivated. Yan. So, once I click this one, dito na siya magpupunta. Okay, so yung manager, deactivate ko din. Yan, so siya na lang yung natitira. Okay, so ngayon, yung gagawin natin, let's try to make another, I mean, another list. Yeah, we already have the list here. Saan na yun? yung list of users okay so yung tinatawag natin dito was the yung mga active so tawag din tayo ng deactivated activated so hindi pa natin ito ginawa so gawin muna natin to on our model so let's try to copy some code here And so let me try to copy the name. 
Okay, and change natin to this status to deactivated. Okay, so once we've done that, we can now check out the view file and sell these. Maybe I will just copy this code muna. Um, di lahat. I think in this part. And then, replace ko to. Ah, no. Dito lang muna sa taas. Yan. So, next is, wala tayong edit dito. Yung meron tayo dito using restore. Or, I mean, reactivate. User. Tapos ipapasa natin to. Then dito, I will just copy this one. And yung label of course. And then yung kulay ng button. Yan. Let's remove po na to. Yan. So this is coming from the um, database na. So, once I click this one, it should go to the reactivate, not reactivated, but reactivate user. So, gagawa naman tayo ng additional method about reactivating a user. So, we can just copy this one and um, go back to the list, the activated list, and copy this one. Change rin na ito. So, gagawa din tayo sa model ng reactivate user. So, ano naman yung re sa reactivate user? So, madali lang yung code sa reactivate user. Halos the same. We're just going to update and change the status from being deactivated to active. Yan. So, once we do that, um, uh, re-reactivate ulit yung user and change natin yung mga label dito. Reactivated, um, an error occur, user was not reactivated. Okay, and mapupunta siya sa list, hindi. Dito sa deactivate is mabalik. Babalik siya. Okay, so once we do that, and let's try to reactivate this manager. Yan. So, check natin dito. Nandito naman siya. What about this one? Yan. Okay. So, as you will notice, guys, um, parang I want something here na pwede natin mabasa. So, balik tayo dito. So, we can just place another TR. table row and then one TD then let's try to count how many columns they have so one two three four and we can do the call span of four and put a class of text center and then type here no record found and refresh. Yan. Same thing with the uh, list table. Ito. Para if ever walan wala ng user, lahat na deactivate, then meron parang message na makikita. Okay? So ano ba yung error dito sa pag -de deactivate So yung tanong ngayon, Ano yung current user na nakalagin? So, let's try to check our database. Ano ba yung name natin na ginamit? For our admin. Ah, yung Monday pala. Ginawa nating manager. So, yung Monday, this is supposed to be an admin. Okay? Then, what happened? Hindi natin ito pwedeng ma-deactivate. Bakit ka mo? 
this is the currently login user. So we need to remove this one. So hanapin natin yung list. So dito, let's say we are going to have an if statement comparing yung ID. If the ID is equals to the session ID or user ID, then dapat hindi natin siya pwedeng magamit. So, pero kung hindi siya, ipabaliktarin natin, kung it's not equal to the current login na user, then, or to its ID, then di-display natin yung deactivated. So, refresh tayo. Yan, wala na yung deactivate na button. It's because this is the current login user. Okay? So, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-deactivate. Okay? Um, next is... So, we can also use this on the... This um, part on the Vito. We also need to use this one. that we cannot able to um, delete, reactivate a, kasi button lang yung this is link, accessible through link. So if ever yung ID is equals to user ID, I would like to redirect it back to the list. Yun lang. Para hindi siya makaprocess ng pag-reactivate, ng pag-deactivate sa user. Especially kung currently login siya. Okay? So, that's how we can manage yung mga data dito. Ano pa ba? So, meron pa tayong papansin ng mga error. If we're going to, let's say, to change this one, what do you think will happen? An error defined. Kasi, yung data na 13, actually, it doesn't exist. So, it might cause some error. So, we need to check this one if it truly exists. If not, ibabalik natin sa list. Okay? So, dito sa edit. So, gumawa tayo ng isang model that would check if yung user truly exists. Just a boolean. Do we have Wala. So we can copy this code just to test the ID if it really exists. Kasi if that happened na ganun palagi, error, hindi yan maganda. So check natin, is user exist using the ID? Then if it return true, if you may result tayo, therefore, we can return true. Otherwise, kung wala, we can return false. So we can use this method on this part. Then, reload ko na lang dito sa task model kasi we're going to use a model as well. Then, tawagin ko to. So is user exist. So pwedeng directa. If user exists, then okay. But if it's not exist, then redirect ko pabalik sa list. Para hindi na siya mag ng error. So refresh tayo. Yan. So kung may ID, palitan natin to ng ID. Pabalik siya doon. 71 yun, bumabalik lang sa list ayun, what if hindi tayo maglagay ng ID yan, it is also a cause of error kasi 
required siya dito. So, go, lagyan natin yung ganito. So, what will happen next? Yan, bumabalik pa rin sa list. Okay? So, that's how we can fix that one. I think we can also use it as well on the part of the activated. Dito. You can also use this one. If na exist pa to and put it empty. If this um, user exists, then paprocess natin. Pero kung di siya na exist, babalik sa list. Okay. Saan pa ba? Sa reactivate. Same thing. So, if the ID exists, then ibabalik ko sa deactivated list naman. Okay, so that's one of the feature na pwede natin magamit on part of ah, meron pa yung meron pa ba? Ah, wala na. Okay, so para hindi tayo magkaroon ng error. Okay, so it's important especially sa mga parameter ng ganito, to check if na-access ba talaga yung data na nilalagay sa URL. Kasi if it doesn't exist, then for sure it will cause some error. Okay? So that's how we can manage from the part of our users.